Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's entertainment. That was a reference. Do you get that reference? So, uh, it is actually a vlog regarding tonight's entertainment because I thought interesting stuff is happening. I haven't vlogged today, but it's getting late and uh, Gareth is here working late with me and we're getting tired and delirious which means things are getting a bit fun. It's 11 p.m. We've been working late on this uh, extracurricular project I mentioned in the last vlog, the uh, the drug awareness bit with the paper puppets. So you remember I showed you the background thing in the last vlog? Today, I'm cutting out tonight. I'm cutting out all the little puppets I made. Hey, this is Gareth's cameo. I made Gareth a cameo puppet. He's trying to smuggle drugs, but he doesn't get to because the, the officers catch him and they're like, Oh, they, ca they catch him and tackle him. Meanwhile, there's another dude that runs off in the background. He's like, ha ha ha, he uses this distraction to get through. So we're talking about how drugs get to where they get to, how they get made, where they originate from. Anyway, so if they're the puppets being cut out, let me take you over to our puppet station. This is a little little setup we made for the, uh, the green screening of the puppets. It's very cool. Check this out. We've got the, we've got, it's just green paper. We've got three lights, pummeling light into it and a top-down camera all set up so that we can put our little puppets in here and go, do, 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 do. And look at that. We got our little, got a little puppetry. Do, 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 do. And the reason we're green screening it is because the background animation's already done. And my friend Gareth over here. Hey Gareth, how you feeling? How you feeling at 11 p.m.? Easy, man. Yeah, we're we're smashing it. Party animal. This is where the fun begins. Ain't no problems. Isn't that right, Gareth? It is. This is where the fun begins. Yes, it is. So this is what it looks like in context. Isn't that cool? You'd never think that that's like animated in animate and that's puppetry on top, like green screen. These are all green screen. How cool is that? Chemical cousin to methamphetamine or that guy's leaning a bit over there. Right. You work on that. I'm making a nice 11 pm cup of tea. Would you like a cup of tea, Gareth? No. I'm making no. a cup of tea. Cup, no. of, cup of Lipton decaffeinated tea. Decaffeinated? The hell? It's perfectly fine with me, to be honest. I, I don't need drugs in my body to, to keep going. Isn't that what this is all about, Gareth? Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad, okay? <laughs> this is you, Gareth. Handsome fellow Yay. there with your salt and pepper beard and your, with your cool guy haircut. Show him your hook. He's got a cool guy haircut. Go on. Show him that. Show him that. It's a pretty cool guy. That's... That's the heck. That's the cool guy haircut right there. So the cool guy does. Cool guy. Cool guy has right there. Yeah. The thing is, you're actually they they're trying to catch you, but they're catching the wrong guy because you actually are just smuggling in hugs. Absolutely. The problem is you haven't taken them through quarantine, so it's good to get your hugs checked. Check check your hugs in at the check in check carry carry them in the check in luggage. You better check your hugs before check you your wreck your before. hugs. And so it's gonna come in and land. I don't know. Just stop. All right, you ready? Now I'm gonna need your help. Yay. You ready to be a puppeteer? As long as I get to puppeteer my own. You dude. can be. You can play yourself. Gareth McGilvray, played by Gareth McGilvray. A strategically placed stick. <laughs> the camera's coming across, and it's gonna basically see him sneaking. So you just gotta. You gotta do sort of these slow, sneaky steps because he won't be moving much. Mm -hmm. I'll be coming in on the side like, "Hey, stop that guy!" Ah, mm -hmm. oh, that's that's too big on the screen. All right, this is like the scene from what's the what's the clay where they're doing the pot? Like, uh, ghost. That's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's this song? Unchained Melody. Yeah, how's it going? Oh, oh no, no. no. <laughs> he does both of these All right, up the side. Great. Okay. Doesn't know I'm filming. Do not jump. <laughs> Do 
Thanks for the great content, Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. That, that was enough. <laughs> it's quarter to 12, so we're going to draw a line at midnight, transferring into final files. It was fun. It was fun. Good work, man. I didn't know how this was going to look until... It's it's probably one of the most satisfying parts of the process, like yeah. of the of the project. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's cool, man. You good, you good value, Gareth. Good Thanks for sticking around. Value, we appreciate you. I Don't we comment section. all of you. Setting up like the shoot things like this is one of the more fun things of, yeah. of what we do. It's satisfying, huh? Like a little top down green screen thing with paper puppets. Like, who has that in their work day? It's cool when stuff. It, when it works, it's very satisfying. Yeah. Bill Walrus, you can do whatever you like. It's nearly midnight. We're going to answer the question today together as we roll over into midnight. Do you want to pick? Uh, this is so messy. Okay, so these are questions. Good look. Uh, where do we get out? I remember when I used to be the immature one in the in the workplace here. Mm. <laughs> Will VR content come back since the move to the current studio? Something coming up on on uh, on Monday. Mm. It's actually uh, going to be a part of a, a promo product project with a brand separate and it's going to be a piece of content on the channel. So I'm going to be putting a lot of effort into a really, really cool VR sculpture for a video on the channel, but then we're also getting some cool footage of using a product that'll be part of that and you'll see that yeah, later. It's been so, coming for that, a while. Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, that's, a couple of, that's a couple of questions. What's the top one? Would you be able to come back to this after a few months and talk about the trans, how the transition goes? What are you, I've talked a lot about my thoughts and all that stuff on, on Resolve. Oh um, right. But yeah. what are your what are your thoughts on the the Resolve transition? Because you've been in the trenches. You've been working on Resolve mm. more than I have since our our big day. Because you're it's, editing videos. It certainly has its ups and downs. Mm -hmm. The sheer speed. Of Just it the T. What's the what's the the hefty ups it, and downs? I mean, well, I've been editing with Premiere for about 20 years, so mm. like, it's just, it's quality of life things. And yeah. There's a couple of little bugs here and there that are still going to iron out, but mm -hmm. so does Premiere, but the sheer speed of it is mm. definitely a massive high point mm. for it. But yeah, it's just like learning new skills, that's yeah. all. But I think it'll be good once we finally get it. Yeah. And, it, and there's ways to work it together too. In fact, even tonight with the green screen thing, we started this project in Premiere, so we have to finish it in Premiere. However, doing the green screen... The coloring and, and the green screen in Premiere just sucks, mm. but we could do the coloring in Resolve, save that as a LUT, bring that into Premiere, and it makes green screen super easy. Definitely Because in Premiere, you can only like pick one spot, and then you can change some settings, and it's pretty crappy. But mm -hmm. in Resolve, we like make the green like really vibrant and flat and really pop things and separate them, so it's going to be super easy to chroma key, and then you do that in post. Anyways, that's a few questions for you, because we're no, catching up. There's one last question. All right. Okay. Are you a potato? Who, me or you? Am I? I don't know. Are you? I don't know. I'm uncomfortable, you I'm uncomfortable with you looking at me. You remind me of mouth. a potato. Do I? Yeah. Slightly potato-ish. And that's midnight. Thanks for joining, guys. <laughs> See you later.